just making sure. Ah, uh, I forgot to record for a couple of days. Sorry about that. But I'm making progress. Um, I have got about a dozen bricks that are all, well, the cement's all cleaned off. I've almost got a full bucket of cement just from taking the cement off the bricks. And I got, I don't know, about a dozen more that I need to work on. So after that, I get to start filling my hole up again. And, oh, i got to show you what I've been doing. I have been busy in the bathroom. Now, I had to scrub this bathroom because it had mold in it. And I had to, uh, you have to, it wasn't too bad, but it was just a little bit there. So what I did is I sealed it, we can't see it now, but I sealed up the window and then I put a fan there and so that all the whatever I was doing was blowing out. And then I found a paint that is mold killing primer and I'm starting to paint the bathroom with it so that it will uh, we won't have any molding problems because yeah of course you know when we took the, that stuff out there was yuck behind it so it was kind of gross and that's what our bathroom looks like right now just nothing in it but a potty <laughs> and a dog cage but I stuck it on its side and uh, that is going to be my project for a while and um, my office got more crowded because I got these wonderful films uh, you know back in the good old days when they had silent movies and you go to record and everything's silent. Well, I um, made a trip to go see my brother. He gave me all the film. And the problem is, is I need to figure out how to digitize it. Now, I know the old, you know, put it in a projector, put it on a screen, blah, blah, blah. But the quality sucks. And the projector is likely to damage the film, and I don't want to damage the film. That's the last thing I want to do. So I've been researching online, and I am coming across um, what they call them convert some sort of converter, film converter. It, it, it converts the film to digital form, and but it goes really slow. It looks like picture by picture type of thing. And I found a few that'll take just about anything. So I got that, and then my brother also had some, when video cameras first came out, they came in little cassettes, and it was like an 8 millimeter size cassettes. And, you know, just like if you popped in a tape cassette for your music or something like that. About that size. So I have been looking for a converter for that, and I think I found one. I have something like that for my film. And so I need to also do mine in digital form so that way we can work with it. But that's pretty much everything. We got my son laughs at me because I got the huge camera, <laughs> which is okay. And uh, so that's my big project that I'm trying to do. And I think I found one that's reasonable. It's under two hundred dollars, but I have to wait because because we had the trip. Uh, my checking account is like empty so I have to wait until I get paid and of course catch up on bills I have orders that I have to do and stuff like that so. and I'm dealing with these people Barkbusters they're they might be okay if your dog's not that bad off or you know you just don't know what to do how to train a dog they might be alright but the problem is, is I know how to train a dog. I just have one that's, you know, my frustration, he's, he's so dang big, and how do I train a dog that big to cooperate with me? And um, the, the training pointers they gave me didn't work. And so I had to find different means of training him. Finally got something that works. And he's getting there. He's he's doing pretty good. The biggest problem I have is if anybody comes up to the house, he just barks like he's going to attack them. 
course, by the time he catches them, he doesn't know what to do with them, and he just sits there and looks at them. But <laughs> I need him to stop doing the crazy barking stuff. And I've been working with them and working with them and working with them, and the pointers that these people gave me didn't work. It was like, spray water on them and say, burr. Didn't work. Just pissed them off. So... Looks like that's them. It just occurred to me that I forgot you guys. <laughs> I um, answered the phone. It was the lady from this company. And uh, she claims that she never got my messages or my emails or anything. And so therefore I don't get my money back. And I'm like, uh, excuse me? So now I have to find all my information and send it to her, which I spent a few hours doing but I got it all done and sent it to her and uh, supposedly she's going to call me tomorrow and we'll talk about what we can do. I think at the least what I'd like to do is um, it cost, I don't know, it's like $200 for her to just come out and say hi to us. Okay fine, you keep that and give me the rest of the money. <laughs> But, yeah, they were outrageously expensive, and to me it wasn't worth the trouble. I told her all the problems I've had, haven't gotten any response, nobody's talked to me, and, you know, he's coming along, but it's not by their help, so we'll see. Anyway, uh, I think that's pretty much it. I'm starting to get stuff written down what I need to get done and when I need to get it done so hopefully we will be moving in the forward position forward thing yeah that have a good one good night